Does your van interior look a little bit shitty? Well, never fear. I am here with my $15 paint job fix. How's it going guys? It's Lockie Mac here and today I wanted to run you through the $15 paint job fix that I did in my van. One of the biggest things that made my van look a little bit gross and dirty was all of the scratches and chunks that were left over from when it was a tradie vehicle. So I had a bit of touch up paint left over from when I sprayed the outside of my van and I'll link that video here or there or maybe I'll put it on my face. I don't know, let's get dangerous. So I figured I'd have a crack with the leftover paint that I already had and to my surprise, it's worked out very well. Now, if you're from Australia, you can get these cans from Super Cheap Auto for $15. And honestly, regardless of if you're doing a massive repaint job of your van, I recommend having a little can of touch up paint sitting around your house anyway, because if you do get a little scratch somewhere, it's nice to be able to just touch it up yourself and not have to stress about it. The only thing you'll need to know is the exact color code of your van so that it all blends in seamlessly. And I will show you where you might be able to find that on your vehicle. The location of my color code is under the passenger seat, right next to the engine bay. You can see it on this badge, paint WX, but doesn't want to focus. According to Google, other places it can be found are in the glove box or in the wheel well. Don't know what that is, but that's none of my business. But can also be found on the driver's side door jam, which is around there, under the driver's seat, looky looky, or in the passenger's sun visor. What do you know, fun and educational. With that out of the way, I now throw it back to me from the past to show you how to touch up the interior of your van for $15. Ah, silly. So because I'm doing this to the interior panel of my car, I'm gonna try to be a bit lazy with it without priming. I'm just gonna see if I can go and spray some of the leftover paint I had from doing the outside of my car. Uh, so I'm just gonna test it in what's probably the worst spot, which is right here. And if it works there, then that's the easiest thing to do. So I'm just taking off the panel where my inverter is, and I'm just gonna try to spray with the sheet over the top. So hopefully it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, don't know if I want to do this. I'm just seeing a whole bunch of mist go everywhere else in the car, so I might have to get a couple more drop sheets. So I've stepped up the coverage a little bit more. I'm hoping that this protects everything because the last thing I want is to have like white specks of paint all over my nice finished van. With this done, I'll now just start spraying and we'll hopefully get all these panels looking nice and brand new again. So looking at this now, I mean, I can definitely see the areas where I've done it, particularly up here. But I think overall, if I give this a couple of coats, I'll at least be able to blend it better. I think it will be an improvement. I mean, already, although it's a little splotchy, as you can see, it's better than having massive gouges and just black shit around the place. Just gonna let this dry and see how it comes at the end. So after two coats of this paint, the panel already looks really good, to be honest. You can see where I've only had one coat down there, and that's how it looks before. And compared to how it looked at the start, it's heaps better. So I think I'm definitely gonna go work my way around the whole van, try to fix up these little bits around the place. So to protect my little black rubber seals from going white, I'm just using a bit of plyboard, and then I've got a smaller piece that I'll use just to really get around the edges and stuff. I'm gonna be using the same thing to protect my piece over here. I'll tape it all off, and I'll also use the plyboard. Just like that. So this is coat one. I'll do about three coats overall. Now just doing the other side. So that's one coat in this area here. And you can already see the color difference. It's massive improvement. So I've gone through one can, I'm able to crack another one and chip away on this part. So this is just after the first coat on the second side. Here's how my original's looking. So I'm just gonna hit this section with the second coat now. And hopefully that starts to cover this all up. Got my little bit of fly here to protect the window. It makes such a big difference. So this is now that coat number two is dried. It's not perfect, but it's a massive improvement on how bad it used to be. So the paint job's all done and I've removed the sheets. And here's how it currently looks, still touched up. Looks like a new van, which is really exciting. 
This has been my $12 paint fix. It'll probably cost me another can to get the last of it done. Like this will well here, but the rest of it looks really great. I'm happy. Now, if I had my time again, I would have done this as almost step one immediately after cleaning out the van. Because the worst part about this was trying to cover everything up and not get white paint over the work I'd already done. So if you've just bought a van and you're about to start converting it, I would do this as early as possible just to make your life easy. You can come in and basically just kamikaze spray everywhere and not have to put down any drop sheets. Wouldn't that be nice? If you have any questions, feel free to drop them below. Give me a like, that makes me feel loved. And subscribe to keep following along with my van build. And as always, stay golden pony boy.